The end of the miraculous movie left fans in a different position than the series. After Gabriel realized the consequence he had brought to Paris, he abandoned his miraculous. Ladybug, who transformed back in order to repair the damage and bring everything back to normal, returned the miraculous of the butterfly to Master Fu. However, that was never the case in the series. Moreover, poor Noru never got a chance to get free from the evil hands. However, there's still a chance we will finally see him free, because Jeremy Zag just announced the second movie of Miraculous Ladybug. And in this video, we're going to talk about it. Let's go! Noru is finally free. Noru's liberation from Gabriel's control could mark a pivotal turning point in the storyline, especially in terms of character dynamics and alliances. Marinette's determination to protect the Miraculous and uphold its legacy can cause her to try different methods to fight with Supervillain. For example, using the Miraculous of Butterfly. Noru could potentially reveal the whole backstory of the incidents that happened. That means Adrian, Marinette, and Master Fu could realize that the other missing Miraculous is in Natalie's hands, if Natalie never kept the Miraculous of Peacock as a secret. Actually, that would be impossible, because we know that the reason Emily was in a coma was because of the damaged Peacock Miraculous. Would you guys like to see Marinette with the Butterfly Miraculous? Natalie being the main villain Natalie shines as a compelling supervillain for several reasons, deeply rooted in her personality traits and the powers bestowed upon her by the Peacock Miraculous. Her serious and formal personality, coupled with her unwavering dedication to Gabriel Agrest, sets the stage for her transformation into a formidable antagonist. The Peacock Miraculous contributes to Natalie's formidable traits, granting her superhuman abilities of speed, endurance, and strength. However, it is the Miraculous's unique power of amokization that truly underscores Natalie's potential as a supervillain. With the ability to manifest Senta monsters from a person's emotions, Natalie becomes a master manipulator, weaving intricate schemes to manipulate her enemies and further Gabriel's agenda. Gabriel's End In the original series, as we already saw, Gabriel granted the super wish and he's gone forever. However, in the movies, after he saw his son being defeated by himself, Gabriel gave up, though he obtained both miraculouses. He chose Adrian, and we couldn't see him later. After some time, we see our favorite characters in the ball. But we still don't know what happened to Gabriel. Did he get arrested, or did he escape from Paris to not get involved in anything? Will we see him again? Looks like the answer is only in the second movie. Marinette and Adrian being together With Marinette and Adrian having revealed their identities to each other in the previous movie, their relationship takes on a new dimension in the sequel, marked by a deeper understanding and emotional intimacy. Having overcome the initial shock of discovering each other's secret identities, Marinette and Adrian find themselves navigating the complexities of their newfound connection. For Marinette, the revelation brings a sense of relief and validation, as she no longer has to conceal her true feelings for Adrian. Her patience and perseverance in building their relationship have finally paid off, culminating in a heartfelt confession. As they embark on a romantic journey together, Marinette finds herself falling deeper in love with Adrian, cherishing every moment they spend together both as civilians and as their superhero alter egos. Adrian, on the other hand, experiences a whirlwind of emotions as he comes to terms with Marinette's true identity. The realization that the girl he has grown to care for is also his beloved ladybug fills him with a profound sense of joy and gratitude. However, his lingering feelings for Ladybug, compounded by his unresolved grief over his mother's death, create internal conflict and uncertainty. Yet, as he witnesses Marinette's unwavering support and affection, Adrian begins to open his heart to the possibility of a future with her, gradually letting go of his past regrets and embracing the present moment. Their dynamic as Ladybug and Cat Noir evolves as well, as they continue to fight alongside each other as partners and friends. The trust and camaraderie they share on the battlefield evolves into a deeper emotional connection, strengthening their bond together as superheroes and as individuals. Defeat of Mayura 
The battle between Ladybug, Cat Noir, and Mayura could be an intense and dynamic showdown that would test the limits of their powers and resolve. As the heroes confront Mayura, they are met with formidable physical strength and combat skills, enhanced by her miraculous abilities. We assume that Gabriel hasn't fixed the problem about the miraculous of the peacock. So, despite her illness weakening her physical prowess, Mayura proves to be a strong villain. Her abilities are a real challenge, as she manipulates her surroundings and summons powerful senti monsters to do her bidding. Maybe she could even create powerful senti monsters who are fed by Ladybug and Cat Noir's feelings, right? During the battle between Ladybug, Cat Noir, and Mayura, Natalie could use the information about Emily's condition and the circumstances surrounding her coma to manipulate Cat Noir, who is Adrian, emotionally. Knowing that Adrian's mother is in a coma because she used the damaged Peacock Miraculous to create him, Natalie could exploit Adrian's guilt and grief over his mother's condition to weaken his resolve and distract him during the fight. Natalie might taunt Cat Noir with reminders of his mother's sacrifice, insinuating that his very existence is what led to Emily's current state. She could suggest that if it weren't for Adrian, his mother might still be awake and with them. This would play on Adrian's insecurities and internal conflict, causing him to question his worthiness as a hero and his role in his mother's plight. As Cat Noir grapples with the emotional turmoil stirred up by Natalie's manipulations, Ladybug would have to step in to support him and refocus his attention on the task at hand. She would remind Cat Noir of the importance of their mission and the need to defeat Mayura to protect Paris and prevent further harm. Miraculous Swap the hero swapping Miraculous Seas in the movie for the first time would be a chaotic yet insightful experience for both Lady Noir, Marinette, and Mr. Bug, Adrian. As they find themselves thrust into unfamiliar roles, they must quickly adapt to each other's powers and responsibilities while facing off against formidable adversaries. At first, Lady Noir and Mr. Bug struggle to adjust to their new powers, leading to some humorous mishaps and miscommunications. Lady Noir's quick thinking and strategic approach would clash with Mr. Bug's more impulsive and daring nature, causing some friction between the two heroes as they try to coordinate their efforts. As they face off against the villains, Lady Noir and Mr. Bug realize the importance of teamwork and communication in overcoming their challenges. Despite their initial difficulties, they begin to develop a deeper understanding of each other's strengths and weaknesses, learning to complement each other's abilities in battle. Okay, guys. These were all the things that could happen in the second movie of Miraculous Ladybug. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you think will happen in the next movie? Let me know in the comments. Please also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you at the next video. Bye!